Bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. We just made history, fellas. First across the road. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. <clears throat> Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on.
I get the feeling it's deserted. It's still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels, you and Styles check it out. Aiello, with me. They wanted to hide whatever happened here. Take out your camera. The world's gotta know. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. Then that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Sussman! Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. Get on in. Into the Jeep. Come on. General, General, General. 
You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. It's us, me wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> uh, are you gonna be okay? Gotta say about his husband. Sarge. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of him, boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know. When they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me.